Hey what's up guys, this is Snare from KO Airsoft here, coming at you with a quick review of my personal primary. It's a DPMS Panther Arms A15, also known as the Kitty Cat. If you watch my um, Airsoft loadout, you'll you'll see that in there. Um, so now we're just going to do a review for it. Let's get into this review. So the box is an okay box. Um, I think it has too much flare. That's why I use a gun case. It really just doesn't look good. Um, in the box, it'll, oh yeah, fair warning, I've been using this for about a year now, so there's going to be some wear on it and some pieces missing and some added pieces too. So um, first it comes with your standard manual. I found this helps a little bit when you're first getting the gun, but really you don't need it. Put that to the side. Um, the charger is a standard trickle charger. I like that it came in this. <coughs> excuse me. I like that it came in this little case though. Protects it from wear and tear. I would throw that out as soon as you get it and get a. Um, uh, oh, I can't think of it. Uh, smart charger. Smart charger. Yeah, thank you, Irish. Um. In this section of the box, it has a little cover. When you take that off, it has some more accessories. You have a two-point sling right here um, with metal clips. It's really not that great. I would get a one-point sling if I were you. Um, the, uh, we'll do the BBs. It comes with a little bag of BBs. I'll throw those out as soon as you need to get them. And then it comes with a nunchuck-style battery, 7.2 volt. I personally don't use this. I upgraded to a um, to a 9.6. No, I can't run my ball on this. Um, now until the gun itself. Like Sternzy just pointed out before, you can't run light ball on this gun. Um, there's really not that many metal parts where you would be able to run light ball. If you do, your gun will just break. Um, so you can hear there's some BBs in this mag. Um, so one thing that I found cool was it's a adjustable crane stock. The crane stock I really like. One, it looks really nice. And two, um, it's a lot more comfortable than like your regular M4 stock. Um, the charging handle is functionable. It, um, shows the hop up. Uh, this gun is not ambidextrous, so on this side it has this uh, safe semi and auto selector. Um, the mag release is on this side. Push that, that mag comes out. We'll get to the mag later. Um, this is the lower receiver, is just like a M4 for you guys. For you guys that have been using M4s and um, want to switch over to a more compact CQB M4, this is perfect. It's the same feel and everything. I've had an M I had an M4 a while back and feels exact same. Um, flip up and adjustable back sight. I really like this back sight. It's, uh, it has windage and elevation and uh, distance. Um, I don't know. There's some slots for slings right here, metal, so they're not going to break. Um, removable front sight, it's just like an M4 front sight, really nice. It just falls apart like that. Um, it does have a orange tip, and you cannot remove that, so I'd recommend just putting a silencer. Like, if you watch my loadout video, you'll see that. Um... That's pretty much it about the gun itself. I'm just going to go into some cons. Um, this gun, oh, and this is a pro. The, uh, the gun comes with full rail system all the way up and then on other sides. So you could put a four grip here. I use a red dot sight if you've, again, seen my, um, my loadout video. And you can mount flashlights, different things on here. Now we'll get on to the cons. Um, 
what I found and what I've researched and other people have found. This part, I don't know if you can see that. That is really wobbly and it makes your gun, like it, your stock, incredibly wobbly. So I tried super gluing it and I just found out now that it just came apart. So I'm going to have to super glue that again. But like I said before, the it's all plastic. I think there's some internals that are metal, but not much. Um, so that's pretty much it for the gun. The magazine is a 300 round high capacity magazine. Um, I'm not going to lie, it really doesn't feed that well. I don't know why it's a... Uh, I just don't know why it feeds as well, so I got another high cap, a 400 round high cap. It's a, I think, a King Arms high cap. It's it's feeding great. So, and I'm thinking of getting um, some P mags mid caps. So, yeah. Um, some facts about the gun: it's a 350 FPS with .12 gram BBs. I run .20s in it, and it's shooting around 300, so I think that's, I think that's pretty great. Um, you can upgrade to a 9.6, this is a 7.2 volt, and it really will just increase your um, rate of fire um, a little, and um, no light bulb though, because that will just wreck your gun. So, I think I'm going to have to end this now, so, like I said before, remember to please rate, comment, and subscribe to KO, it really helps, everything helps guys, so, um, stay tuned for some more content, see ya.